How do guys, it's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service. In this video, we're going to talk about pricing commission work. Right, so how to price work. Okay, before we start talking about pricing work there's a couple of things that you're going to face problems in this industry and it's because it's not seen as a proper job it's a hobby anybody man woman child dog anybody in between can paint miniatures and because people can paint miniatures to a varied of standards people don't understand the worth the value of time okay so with it not being a proper job, the reason why I feel I've got some form of education in this is because I've I've had a business, I've been working as a, a professional musician, not a proper job, for going up, what, 10 years now? And I've been successful at that. Now I'm doing this, I've took the same mentality into this and it's working the same. Not a proper job is what you will get, okay? Because anybody can do it. Um, people don't want to learn to be, you know, people don't hobby plumbing, do they? <laughs> um, that's anything in arts and crafts is usually not a proper job. It's, you've got that to, that is the biggest problem with this industry. And I tell you what, miniature painting is far worse than music. It really is. Um, so, with that in mind, this is how. You should really structure your pay. Um, like I said before, I have done. Uh, I have worked with my dad um, when I was starting to be a musician because obviously it wasn't paying great to start with, and then obviously it took over. So I've done labouring, I've done decorating, I've done stone masonry, I've done a lot of work where you learn to price valued on time to the job, and this is what I've brought to it. All right. Same with the music, if you're out of the house for 14 hours, you're not charging for what you're working, you're charging for the time you're at work. So let's put that into perspective and let's talk about pricing commissions. Right, so pricing your miniatures, what it boils down to is how long does it take you? Okay. The biggest thing I see in this is people constantly ask, how much do you charge per model? Again, that's not going to explain anything. All models are different. All models are different sizes. All models take different lengths. So you look at a Citadel model, for example, uh, you know, there's loads of little bits and pieces that you keep missing because there's that much bloody detail packed on them that you can't miss bit. Even for a basic level job, you don't want to be missing them bits because they're so apparent on the model that if you miss that out, it looks like you're taking the piss. Okay, but then you look at say for a model from, I don't know, like a like an older sculpt, like a a foundry model for example. The softer sculpting, and there's not as many details on, so you can paint them a bit faster. It's like I always say, you can paint fantasy models quicker. You can't paint Age of Sigma models quicker than traditional 80s models because they're just packed with loads of extra bits. So that in itself, if it's a Citadel model or if it's like a you know a historic model, if it's if it's like an old school sculpt, they all get priced differently because they're completely different. They take all different times to paint. Also building costs. You know when people ask me for pricing I always say that's unbuilt that's that's when they sent built sorry uh, because building takes a long time so five the way to understand how long things take to build is buy yourself like say five space marines five fantasy models five historical metals or whatever build them up in you know sub builts clean them up and then see how long it's took you to do them five models. So then if a customer gets in contact with you, say, can you build and paint these? At least you know it's going to take you at least an hour to build and clean up or two hours to build and clean up them five models. So straight away, if it's going to take you two hours just to build and paint five models, you want to be charged anywhere from nine pounds. Sorry, so if it takes an hour, nine pounds just to build five models okay then minimum 
and that's if you want to work for minimum wage. I could dip dildos in a factory for nine pounds an hour. Do you know what I mean? As in, I don't want to be sat painting somebody's models for that sort of money. So, minimum nine pounds just to build them. Then there's cleaning. If that takes another half an hour, put another, you know, four twenty-five on or whatever, four quid on, just for cleaning. So straight away you're talking, you know, money that they probably are thinking you were going to pay just for painting them models, and it doesn't work like that, okay? So then, from my experience, even when you're speed painting, so let's talk about painting after building now. Five fantasy models, on average, I could possibly paint to a an half decent standard five models in about two and a half hours. But that's me, okay? Someone that's done it an awfully long time. But, I mean, I charge £20 an hour. So just to paint them, you're talking nearly 60 quid for five models. So if that's somebody working at £10 an hour, that's still 30 quid for five models. Um, which some people might be like, you add your building on that and you add your clean, cleaning work on that. This is not even including basing. This is not including priming even. I have even spoke about priming. So you can see how the money adds up. And when people get an unrealistic price in the head, like, you know, people will ask you to paint an army for 500 quid. That would never happen. Again, I'm not talking about somebody doing it to make some money. I'm, I'm talking about people that are doing it as a business. Okay? So you need to factor in all your timing okay so even priming models but time you've got all your models stuck onto a, a lollipop stick you've took them out with your paint ripper you've sprayed it you should really time that to get an understanding of how long it takes you to prime a certain amount of models and you might be thinking i'm nitpicking but if you think you're painting full time and you're doing you know x amount of models a week that 20 minutes to stick your models on, get them on your paint stick, get them sprayed, that adds up. And then that might mean over the course of a week, you've worked for four hours for free. Don't want to be doing that. Okay? Everything adds up. So when people talk about basing, you need to be thinking, well, if I'm just doing a very basic, you know, put some glue on it, dip it in some sand, done. If you've got 100 of them to do, that's an hour. Just doing that. Maybe longer, two hours. Do you know what I mean? So, if you do an elaborate basin, then that's a commission in itself. I've had people message me saying, can you do me 150 uh, water effect, like snow and ice bases with like icicles and everything. Each base is like a little diorama base. And when I turned around and said, you know, it'll be about a tenner a base, they would have laughed at me. And I'm like, why? As in, it takes an awfully long time. Do you know what I mean? Um, but now what I'd do is I'd make a few different ones. I'd cast them, but then rubber's expensive. Um, there's, there's so many avenues of where money goes and how to make money. Okay, so what it boils down to is how long does it take you and make sure that you're getting paid the hourly, hourly rate that, you're, that you value your worth at. Okay, don't undercut yourself because it'll demo demotivate you to a point where you won't want to do it. You'll do a bad job. You'll get a bad name for yourself. I'm talking from experience, right? So make sure the price is right and you'll work. And materials need adding into this. Okay, materials are a hard one. I know if you're just miniature painting because you're using millimoles of paint, as in minimal paint. But a good way of trying to price it. And say, for example, you're doing 40 skeletons and you're chucking Agrax Earthshade on them. You know that you might use one of them smaller pots. I mean, I know they don't do them anymore. So you might use half a pot of GW paint uh, wash. So that's a fiver. Do you know what I mean? You've used half a pot just in wash. So if you added like a tenner on to a commission... It is covering your costs, and over time, then ten pounds add up, and then you you're not undercutting yourself for because I mean primers and it all adds up. Brushes getting dead, 
you've got to incorporate that and it is hard to figure out the to the penny pricing where it is so i usually standardize uh, say well if it's just painting say 20 models i'll stick a tenner on and then that way that the wash and everything else and if a brush starts to go and everything else i can just replace it do you know what I mean? And then you, you're generalising that over time. Now with terrain building, pricing's a bit easier because you go, right, sheet of 6x4 MDF, load of foam, bag of plaster, bag of this, bag of that, bag of that. You can sort of work out your materials because it's such a big thing. So that's easier. But when it comes to painting, just I, I stick a standardised price on material costs. When it comes to basing, it depends on what they want. Okay. So I hope that helps. I hope that does finish you know answer all the questions on pricing um because it per miniature doesn't work for me it might work for most people in some of these bigger companies but you should be charged but you don't get builders working for per wall do you you don't get builders working per house it's literally how long it's going to take materials time effort everything else okay so Take this video as you will, comments below, and uh, yeah, I'll see you again for the next video. I am very busy at the moment, um, I've got a lot of commissions going off, um, so videos are a bit iffy this week, um, but as soon as I've got these commissions out, I'm working on a lovely church, which I'll put some pictures up uh, now, and I'm building a really nice saga board, um, which I'll, I'll document, and I've got a diorama uh, for Age of Sigma that I'm doing for someone as well, which I'll... I'll do a six part or something like that for that showing you what i'm doing with that because that's gonna be pretty cool all right guys so thank you very much thanks for watching thanks for tuning in if you want to support the channel all my flocks and links are on the geek gaming page below you buy them really helps me out if you just want to support me and everything else just watch the videos guys all right see you soon